So today I'm actually doing a favorites video for you guys. Sorry if I sound <coughs> croaky. I'm actually getting over a cold, so sorry about it. Now, I used to do monthly favorites and then it was seasonal favorites, and now it's just kind of favorites whenever I feel like I've rounded up enough things to talk about. These are things that I've been using consistently that I wanted to share with you guys, and yeah. So I have a whole spectrum of favorites at this time, month, season. I'm not really sure. But yeah, let's just go, I guess, randomly. Now I got this product a couple months ago now. This is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. The shade <clears throat> that I use is actually soft brown. So what I have in my eyebrows right now. I <laughs> didn't want to like this. I actually was like, okay, it's probably really overly hyped, overly rated, it's not really that good, but you guys, this is pretty dang good. Now, eyebrows to me are really important, I love my eyebrows to look nice, and this is just super, super easy. Now, I used to use the e.l.f. Professional Eyebrow Kit in the shade Medium, and while I still love that, I just find it looks a little too harsh at times. This looks really soft, as the name implies. I also picked a shade that was a little bit lighter than my natural eyebrow color, just so I could make my eyebrows look a little bit more natural and less like eyebrows in your face. Now you've been wondering what my highlighter is. So I have been a highlighter fiend for the past couple months, and so I've been trying out a bunch of different highlighters, but you guys, this one is amazing. So this is from Monde. This is the highlighter bronzer duo type thing. It's technically, I guess, what they consider a blusher, but this I use as a highlighter because it does have the ombre effect, so it has like a little bit of a bronzier shade down here at the bottom, and then a really shimmery shade at the top, like a golden shade. But I just kind of run my brush to the entire thing, and then I just like place it on the top of my cheek and like look at my highlight, you guys. Now I will say that this highlight is not as finely milled as I wish it would be, so I, that might be an issue for those of you guys with pore issues or very visible pores. I say as long as you don't have lots and lots of pores visible, you'd be good using this. I use it really heavy handedly, um, but if you do have a lot of visible pores, just be light with it and you shouldn't have any problems. I say that, but this is by no means chunky or anything like that. It's just like a, a very obvious highlight. Like I definitely look like I highlighted my cheeks. I don't wake up like this guy. Let's talk about mascara. So this is actually a mascara that my friend Erica sent me. This is from CoverGirl, and this is the Super Sizer. Now I actually really like the Lash Blast from CoverGirl. Honestly, all the drugstore mascaras I usually like. I usually go for drugstore mascaras um, because I tend to like them more. This one is really, really nice. I've been using it for the past couple months. This probably dried out a bit, so I'm probably gonna throw it in the trash in a week or two. But this is super nice. Like, it makes my eyelashes look super thick, super long, separates every single lash. And also, this doesn't get flaky on me, so I don't find that little, like, flakes of mascara end up underneath my eye at the end of the day. It's been really hot where I live. It has literally been, like, 90 to 105 degrees every single day. This past couple weeks, it's been, like, in the triple digits. So having a sturdy mascara is very very necessary. However, this is a waterproof, so I don't have a problem getting it off, but this is just an overall really nice mascara if you're looking for a drugstore one to check out. So now that I've gone over some of my favorite makeup items of the moment, I'm gonna go over lifestyle, and then I'm gonna hit my skincare favorites for the past couple months. So the game that I've been really into as far as lifestyle favorites go has also sponsored this video, and it is called Dragon's Mania Legends. Ooh, look, I logged in. I get a reward. Yay! You've been promoted to a higher league. <laughs> Grand prize, Agent Dragon. Look at that, I won an Agent Dragon. I just logged in to show you guys the game and I won an Agent Dragon. And so I'm going to switch views so you guys can get a better view of the game. Do you wanna play with me? I know. Okay guys, let's play some Dragon Mania Legends. Dragon. Don't suck at my password. Okay, you guys, so I got lots of monies. Look at all my monies. Bling, bling. Ooh, got all kinds of food. Okay, let's see, who am I gonna feed? So these are my dragons. I've got like the little air one over here. Look, this guy looks like a bee. I get it, Lucky. <laughs> then you pet them. Oh, how cute. Bling. So this dragon's a baby. And I'm gonna feed it. 
Yum. Okay, so I'm gonna battle. Okay, so now I got all perfect, so now I'm gonna use my little Dragon Fury. This is where it gets serious, guys. Oh, my arm's getting tired. Bam! I won. And also, if you go over here, you can like fight other people, but since you just saw me fight. Lucky, your butt's in the camera. Ow. What you doing? Are you a dragon? Dragon cat? Give me popo. Popo. <laughs> so that's my Dragon's Mania Legends map. So yeah, that's a game I've been really into as of lately. It is free on all Android, iPhone, iOS, blah, blah, blah. So you can download it for free yourself. I will leave a link in the description box below. So my next lifestyle favorite is actually kind of like dietary favorites. Um, it is apple cider vinegar. So I've been drinking apple cider vinegar. If you watch some of my past videos, I think I mentioned this, um, or even my Snapchat, I mentioned apple cider vinegar a lot. But if you're Korean, you might be familiar with the drink Hong Cho. This is a Korean drink, obviously. And what it is, is a vinegar drink that has juice concentrate in it. For me, this is a little expensive to get my hands on, buying it in specialty stores where I live. Maybe cheaper if you buy it in Korea, well, it probably is. But actually, I just make my own because this is literally just vinegar apple cider vinegar with juice concentrate. So I use Sprouts apple cider vinegar. This is raw and filtered and this also has the mother included which is this cloudy stuff here at the bottom. If you're buying apple cider vinegar you want to make sure that they include the mother and it is organic. So I get mine from Sprouts. You can get this from Trader Joe's or I'm sure they have it at normal grocery stores as well but what I do is I put about a uh, shot size, so about an ounce of this with water and I just buy juice concentrate like I've been drinking blueberry juice concentrate that I got from Trader Joe's and I just pour about two parts of that to one part of this and then I dilute it with water and then I drink that. So. As you can tell, I am sick, so I drink this around the times that I get sick or I feel like I'm getting sick because I feel like it gives my immune system just a little kick. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Um, does the drink taste like vinegar? And to be completely honest, it very much so does taste like vinegar. However, I'm one of those weird people who really likes acidic -y, sour, vinegary, briny types of taste, so I actually enjoy my vinegar drink, so I like sip on it and I'm like... Mmm, delicious, but if you're not a fan of it, I know people will mix it with water and lemon and a little bit of this in the beginning of the day and just kind of take it as a quick shot and then they get their apple cider vinegar in that way. So I have been loving my apple cider vinegar drinks and um, like, like I said, since I've been sick, I've been drinking a lot more frequently. Okay, so we have a couple more products to go over. Now this is kind of like the skincare section of this favorites video. So. Obviously, I use SPF every single day. The SPF that I've actually been really liking is from Garnier. This is the Skin Active Clearly Brighter Anti-Sun Damage Daily Moisturizer. Now, uh, this has a 30 SPF, and I really like this because it is super, super lightweight. I don't feel like it adds an extra layer of product on my skin. And during the summertime, that's kind of an issue I find with sunscreen, is finding one that feels light enough where I don't feel like my face is getting clogged or feels really heavy. And I use this actually all over my body, so I use it on my chest and my shoulders if they're showing, and I also use it on like my arms. So this is really nice, lightweight, doesn't have much of a scent to it. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it doesn't have much of a scent to it. It does have a little bit of a light, clean scent to it, but I know some of you guys don't necessarily have access to Korean Beauty or Asian Beauty all the time, so if you're looking for a nice sunscreen, I definitely recommend this Garnier one, and you can probably easily find it in the drugstores where I found it. <laughs> Now, if you follow my Snapchat, you've been seeing me use this product a lot. This is a product that I actually discovered from Bubs Beauty. She's one of my favorite beauty bloggers. I just feel like I really relate to Bubs. Uh, and this is from Annie Sway. This is the Honey Deep Moisturizing Jelly Mask. I also have the Hyaluronic Acid version, which has the blue label. But I've been using the moisturizing version as of late because I feel like my skin's been really dehydrated. Now, like I said, even though it's been really hot where I live, it's dry. 
I don't have, there's no humidity here whatsoever. So it's super dry and it dries out my dry skin like so crazy. So my skin gets really uncomfortable and cracky, like literally cracky. So I have been using this as a pick me up. And as you can see, this is a huge tub of it. And I've used almost half of it. And that says a lot, believe me, when it comes to skincare, especially masks in me, because I try so many things out, I switch my products out so many times uh, for me to use something so frequently that I'm actually probably going to use it up that says a lot so how you use this is you just apply a thick layer of this on your skin after cleaning your face you let it sit on your face I let mine sit on for 30 to 45 minutes however long I can take you take a spatula and you actually scrape the jelly off of your face after you're done wipe it in a tissue and throw the tissue away you don't want to wash this down the sink because it could possibly clog your sink which would cause probably a major headache in your life so I want to save you that headache so just throw the tissue away wipe your face off with the tissue and then once you gotten the jelly off your skin you can go ahead and rinse your face and continue with your normal skincare and I just feel like this plumps my skin up makes me feel so much more comfortable and I actually see a visible difference in my skin because it looks a lot brighter after I use this so I'm really glad I discovered these Annie's Way jelly masks so Thanks, bubs. Okay, last but not least is kind of a tip slash something that I have been doing recently and I really love. So, you guys all know that I love my soothing gels. This one's from Mamon. This is the Rose Water Soothing Gel. I really love this guy in particular. Not only are these good for summertime because they help with like excess sun exposure and all that kind of stuff. I actually kind of use this as a mixing base for other products. So I have been using my Shiseido Future Solution LX Replenishing Treatment Oil and what I do because this guy is super super expensive but I really really wanted to try it. <clears throat> So what I do to help it last a lot longer and so that it spreads evenly on my skin is I will actually pump a couple pumps of this into my gel. I've already done it so I don't really need to do it again. And then I mix it up and then I get the extra benefits of this in my gel all over my body but I'm not using a crazy amount of this every single day like I put like probably like 10 pumps of it into my entire bottle and mix it up and this lasts me for quite some time so that's kind of a skincare tip if you guys have serums or anything like that put a couple drops of your serum or like a couple squirts of it into your lotion or your gel or whatever stir it up and you're good to go also another tip that I have for something similar is I I actually recently had a really bad breakout on my face from a face cream that I was using and it was actually a very very expensive face cream it was from something that sounds like history of poo and it was very expensive and it broke my skin out like crazy so I didn't want to throw it away so instead what I did was I had Another one of these actually was the Nature Republic one, and I actually just mixed it with my Nature Republic one, and then I used it as a body lotion, and at least I got to use it and not waste it, and it was pr it was perfectly fine on my skin, on my body, because it's obviously not as sensitive as the skin on my face, and that's another way you can kind of use products that maybe aren't good on your face, and you want to use them up and not waste your money. Try mixing it in with your body lotion or your gel. And that's my tip. All right, you guys. So those are like my makeup, lifestyle, and skincare favorites as of lately. I am currently moving right now, probably when you see this video. So wish me luck. And yeah. So as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.